here's my son, Brandon. Uh, he's standing with my grandson, who's named after me, Warren. Uh, next to him is my mother, uh, my uh, wife, my daughter, Joanna. Oh, my wife is Lisa. <laughs> my daughter, Joanna. My daughter, Christina. My daughter, Bridget. Uh, my mean little granddaughter, the only one I have, Bella. The one she's holding up there. My grandson, Josiah. My daughter-in-law, like my daughter, Jennifer, uh, holding my other grandson, Emmanuel. Uh, my cousin, Anitra. And my other cousin, Cynthia. My other cousin, Pat. My daughter in the back, Rashandra, and my son-in-law, Omar. And where are the twins? Are they? Okay. And, 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 and the twins, which sometimes I can't tell them apart, one's riding and the other one's reason. Is, is that everybody? Is that all family? Matthew. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all probably know him as Dirty D, but my brother, the original down the That's really impressive. Yeah. And we understand, uh, Lorenzo, we forgot about him too. Yeah. I thought, I thought uh, I was standing here waiting to get started and I looked around and uh, the guest of honor wasn't here. Uh, he was late for his own promotion, so uh, I'm going to have to suspend him. So. <laughs> we can probably work that out. I'm now going to talk to you about a pretty impressive career. It started back in 1979 when he became a police officer. And also in 1979 he received an associate degree from CBCC. 81, he got a bachelor's degree from Troy State. He has been a member of the Columbus Police Department Honor Guard. In 1984, he joined the Honor Guard. In 1985, he was appointed to the rank of tech police technician. In 1989, he became a patrol or a police sergeant. Uh, in night, uh, from 05 to <laughs> You're not that old. Somebody typos, never mind. Uh, he was a Crime Stopper a Humanitarian Award winner in 1995. Uh, in 1996, he gradu graduated from the FBI National Academy. In 1999, he was Officer of the Month for the Columbus Police Department. Again in 1999, he got the uh, Crime Stoppers Humanitarian Award. You were really twice. That's impressive. <laughs> uh, let's see. In 2001, he got his master's degree from Troy State University. In 2005, he was inducted into the Georgia Special Olympics Hall of Fame. In 2007, he was awarded the Columbus Police Department Officer of the Month again. In 2007, he was the Protect and Serve Award winner for uh, Fox 54 and ACOM. In 2009, he was a Community of uh, Service Award winner. 2009, also the Crime Stoppers uh, Ambassador Award. He served in the United States military from 1973 to 1976. I like that picture back there, that cannon, that's good. He also served as a coordinator for the Crime Stopper Program. He was a Region 8 coordinator for Georgia Special Olympics, a member of the Muskogee County School District Drug Advisory Board, coordinator for the Partners in Education Program for Forest Road Elementary, Served at, on the executive board of RSVP, Retired Senior Volunteer Program. A DEER coordinator uh, for the police department. 
During his career, he has served in the patrol division, was a motor officer in the traffic division, a investigative uh, ID, which we now call CSI. You, you were so good you were ahead of CSI. <laughs> Uh, he served in administrative services uh, and crime prevention, and he went was in detectives until he came back to his home base in patrol. He's, he's had a good career, and if anybody knows Warren, he's a nice guy to be around. Uh, you can stand there and talk to him, uh, joke with him. Uh, but he can be serious from time to time, once in a while. But he's always represented this uh, department very well. And I'm going to let uh, some of the folks that probably will take a couple shots at you come up. Chief Miller. Well, Uh, we had something that wasn't on the agenda. Uh, was no, it wasn't. Oh, you're going to do it or not? Yeah. Okay, who is it? Roy. Oh, Roy? Reverend Roy, uh, could you come up and give us an invocation? You know, I have to pray for Roy every day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to stop the story. No. Oh, yeah. Hit by him. Well, it's an honor just to be up here, and I consider you a friend, and you're just a classic person, and I just thank the Lord of you. And uh, I just want to pray that God bless everybody here, and uh, Lieutenant Dunlap on his career, and his new career as a house husband. <laughs> <laughs> Father God, I just thank you for today, and I thank you for this time of fellowship. I thank you, bless uh, Lieutenant Dunlap, Warren Dunlap, and his wife, and his whole family, Father, and I just thank you. Oh, Lord, he's always been a representative of you. Bless his family and his new future career. And, Lord, I just thank you. Bless him in his retirement. And, Father, bless everybody here. We'll continue to bless this department. And we just thank you for this time of fellowship. But also let us know that our strength comes from you. And Lieutenant Dunn, I'll be the first person to tell you that. And I just thank you for this time of fellowship. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I actually was not going to take a shot at you, um, so you didn't have to have the prayer there. <laughs> uh, when I was up here the other day for uh, uh, Rob Garrett's retirement, I mentioned uh, the name of uh, Lieutenant Ed Fowler. And again, not, not all of y'all know who Lieutenant Fowler was, and uh, I want to mention another name is Bobby Horn. And, uh, uh, I could tell a lot of funny jokes, um, but... Uh, Warren knows how much those two people meant between us. And uh, we, we shared a lot of, uh, it seems like I work more part-time jobs with you than actually with the department, so it seems. And you know, when I mentioned Bobby's name and, and Ed Fowler, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. We had a lot, a lot of good times at the old uh, auditorium and then later at the, uh, at the Civic Center. Uh, you know, Dunlap is like Cher. Uh, no, no one knows his first name, it's just Dunlap. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Lorenzo is Lorenzo. So, uh, uh, but I appreciate uh, all the years that uh, we served together. Uh, Warren was asking about a picture that I've got of the two of us, and I've told this whole story before. It's a, it's a tragic story, but the circumstances. But he and I had to go to the medical center a long time ago when he was in ID. And uh, the, the brain surgeon that was uh, working on this young man who had. Uh, uh, attempted suicide and, and later succeeded in that effort. Uh, uh, the doctor wanted us to look at the wounds. So me and Warren had to suit up and, uh, and all the stuff that they wear to include the mask and the, and the cap. And I got a picture of that somewhere, but I, I can't find it. So if I find it, I'll, I'll let you know. But uh, uh, his biggest accomplishment is sitting in this red dress right here. I want to know that. <laughs> you know, on the, uh, the part-time jobs, uh, he kind of, every now and then, kind of slip off. And I'm, uh, I'm not really looking for him, but when I did find him, Lisa was with him, you know? I, you know <laughs> <laughs> this, this is it. 